first big decision taken by the Bank Board Bureau could well be merging five associates of the country's largest public sector lender, SBI, into itself. Also on the list is the Bharti Mahila Bank. The Vinod Rai headed committee has met the board of all these banks today. And we have our correspondent Sapna Das who has been tracking this meeting, joining in with the exclusive details. Sapna, what are you picking up? SBI is only going to be bigger. This is pretty much uh, setting the stage for consolidation, starting with SBI. That's right. But first, I would like to clarify that the, the, this decision has not been taken by the Bank Board Bureau. Uh, there were earlier some reports suggesting that the BBB is involved in this exercise. Uh, this has been found to be untrue. And uh, we have checked this from the highest sources. So uh, this should not, uh, so, so BBB is, has not really played any role in this, so to speak. Uh, you know, there may have been discussions earlier, but uh, today's decision has come purely uh, on, on, on the basis of, uh, uh, you know, suggestions uh, of the SBI associate banks, uh, which has not been approved by the SBI board. This also includes uh, the proposal to merge, uh, in, in principle proposal, in principle approval to merge the Bahatia Mahila Bank with SBI. Uh, in fact, uh, if you recall, uh, sometime last year, uh, you know, a cabinet uh, consultation, draft cabinet consultation had started on the fact that uh, uh, probably the Bharatiya Bahila Bank should be merged with SBI. But then later on, uh, it was uh, apparently in cold storage. Now all of that has come full circle. So government has taken the first big decision in going ahead uh, with the possible consolidation of the associate banks of SBI and also putting Mahila, Bharati Mahila Bank in the same, uh, uh, you know, on the on the, on, uh, on the same footing. Having said that, this is an in principal uh, approval for merger. Yeah. Uh, so the scheme of merger will now be worked out. Uh, we also understand that, uh, you know, uh, hopefully the timeline should be by the end of this fiscal uh, when the process should be in place. Uh, we also understand that no further legislative amendments will be required to any of the acts because this entire decision is in line with the State Bank of India Act. Whatever it says under Section 35, uh, you know, that process has been followed. Mm. Uh, however, there's a flip side to the coin uh, in the sense that, you know, they could be right. HR issues, uh, there could be people management issues, and yeah. probably uh, unions may also give a uh, call for strike. So, that so, is something so let's that discuss will that uh, further, Sapna. I'll uh, toss it across to Lata. Lata, you know, there will be issues as Lata, uh, as uh, Sapna was pointing out. But uh, first up, huge move for consolidation. How will this pan out? Well, actually, the big problem will be for SBI. Yeah. Uh, it's a superannuation problem. Once you retire from SBI, you are entitled to both contributory provident fund as well as pension, whereas the SBI babies get either uh, mm. a provident fund or pension. So the first impact for SBI is as soon as you merge, you have to everyone becomes SBI employees, and therefore there is a scale up in the company's pension bill, in SBI's pension bill. So today you saw SBI shares going down mm. and uh, the SBI baby shares actually uh, rising after the news came on, uh, after Network 18's uh, Lakshman broke that story. In fact, uh, uh, let us get it straight from someone who would know better than all of us, former managing director of State Bank of Mysore, Sharad Sharma has joined us on the phone line. Mr. Sharma, uh, good evening to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, yeah, good evening, Lata. Uh, is that right, sir? The, uh, if the merger happens, uh, then uh, what's the advantage for the babies and uh, what is in it for SBI? Actually, I'll just qualify. Let me update you that, uh, yeah, I laid down my office as on 30th of April 2016. Yes, sir. And uh, I, I did introduce you as former. Uh, we were aware that uh, you are not yeah, held yeah, now. Right. But you will be best right. placed, therefore, to tell us uh, what's the advantage uh, for uh, State Bank of Mysore? Uh, State Bank of my advantage is, you see, I mean, we were we had some sort of a niche territory in Karnataka, like 86 percent of my branches were in Karnataka, mm. and my main competitor, because last two three years you see have been pretty bad as far as corporate financing or infra is concerned. So retail was the main focus, mm. and their uh, State Bank was the biggest competitor. Okay. So it it was a tough thing. So you were competing I, with State Bank of India, you're saying. That's right, yeah. Okay. So this uh, actually improves uh, the working of both SBM and SBI, you it, think? It, you all will go into the force as uh, one entity? Exactly. In terms of synergization, in terms of reducing costs, because we had application of CPCs, processing mm -hmm. centers, all over Karnataka. So to that extent, that will go away. Okay. The administrative costs will also come down. Mm -hmm. But it is, I think, for SBI to take a view as to how they will recast the structure.
Because if you see in Karnataka, presently they have about 600, 700 branches in Bangalore Circle. Mm. With this merger, uh, they'll add about 800 more, so it will be 1,500. So there will be some uh, modification in the way the administration happens. Mm. But I think it will uh, be just a fraction of the administrative cost which SBM used to okay. incur for running the annuals. Okay. Total. Mr. Sharma, uh, uh, we also have uh, Mrs. Bhattacharya joining us. Uh, uh, the SBI chairman. Mrs. Bhattacharya, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so what is the latest, ma'am? We understand that you are uh, going to be taking over Bharatiya Mahila Bank as well and uh, the, the State Bank of India subsidiaries. Actually, we've just applied to the government, which we are required to do under Section 351 of the SBI Act for in-principle approval mm. uh, for starting these negotiation talks uh, for the merger. Mm. So that's what's been uh, sought for now. Okay. But obviously the intention is that, yes, we will uh, merge these banks. Okay. Well, we have separately got from some government sources that uh, you will be taking over Bharatiya Mahila Bank as well. Uh, is that also something that was discussed in the board? Yes, that was. That was. Okay. And so now that's a done deal if the government wa wants you to? If the government gives us approval, yes. Okay. That means 1,000 crore more of capital coming into the bank That's from the right. Bharati Mahila Bank. That's right. Okay. Uh, with respect to the subsidiaries, uh, what is the cost-benefit analysis? Uh, actually, you know, while the cost on, our, on the side of the subsidiaries will only be in respect of uh, the superannuation benefits, mm. as you yourself were speaking about a little while back, mm. In respect of the benefits, the benefits will be very huge uh, because if you take uh, into account the huge amount of overlaps that we have. Mm. Today, for instance, you know, there are six treasuries running. Mm. So that will get reduced to one treasury. Mm. In respect of, say, yearly closing, which we are going through right now, mm. there are six sets of closings, mm. six okay. sets of inspections and audits, yes. six uh, annual general meetings. Mm. So there are six of everything. Mm. Now all of that gets reduced to one. Okay. Not only that, in respect of branches, etc., mm. the rationalization of the branches can actually take place mm. so that the same licenses can now be used in a much better manner. Mm. And we don't have branches, you know, jostling next to one another. Mm. So there can be huge uh, efficiencies that we can get out of this. Mm. And of course, you know, considering the fact that we'll be a much greater and a much bigger bank, mm. so definitely that itself will also have uh, quite a bit of... Uh, Okay. Uh, advantage. So what will also, be the balance sheet size, ma'am? Uh, uh, balance sheet size will be around 37 lakh crores, around 500, 5, 550 uh, billion dollars. Okay. Uh, from what? 37 lakh crore? Uh, what is it currently? It is around 28 lakh crores. 28. Okay. Yes. So that uh, makes it much, uh, much bigger, almost a 20% growth in your balance sheet size. Uh, will uh, this kind of a rationalization, uh, while you very clearly point out that there are going to be advantages in terms of avoiding duplication, uh, will there be a problem in terms of uh, adjusting staff cadres and therefore some bit of resistance? No, I don't really think so. You know, today, for instance, you know, if you take the entire group, Hmm. Around 13,000 people are attriting on a yearly basis. Oh. Okay. okay. So that being the case, you know, this kind of a whatever little overlap there might be for a little while, hmm. this will get resolved within the next 12 to maximum 18 months. Okay. So w w have you all thought out in terms of numbers, what will be the savings, what will be the improvement in, uh, say, cost to income, uh, any, any ballpark numbers? Does the cost to income improve, uh, uh, say, by 10%? by 5%, uh, anything that uh, the markets can take advantage of to value? So basically, we believe that within, uh, say, a very short period of time, within a year, we should see the costs coming down by 100 basis points, mm -hmm. mainly because uh, the deposits with the associate banks are taken at a higher rate. Mm -hmm. So the cost of funds itself should come down quite sharply, mm -hmm. and that should come, uh, come down within, say, uh, uh, the period of a year. Okay. Uh, so there itself, we'll have quite a bit of benefit. Okay. Over and above that, we'll have the benefit of all of these synergies mm. that will get worked in. Okay. Also, the associate banks have fixed assets to the extent of around 4,000 crores, mm. which will also come in and add uh, to the capital. 
and that we'll be able to get on account of this. Okay. So overall, it's a very good uh, move. Mm. It will consolidate the entire group. Mm. It will make it more efficient. Mm. Uh, overall, I think, you know, it's something that uh, will definitely be of huge value. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I just wanted to ask... Uh, uh, what is the next uh, process? Uh, I'm sure the government will be more than willing because consolidation is something the government also has been talking about and they will defer to your expertise on this issue. So what? how long? Uh, do we wait for six months, three months, one year? <laughs> We'd like to do it as of India and then finally by the central bank, the okay. central government. Mm. Uh, so after that, only the merger can take place. But okay. having said that, we would like to do this process quickly mm. because uh, as you can understand, if this process lingers, then there is a lot of uncertainty all around. Yes. So if we get the approval, we would like to move on this very quickly. So we should expect it in a quarter, you think? Quarter would be very, very, I think, very small period of time. Okay. Um, Lata, I have to get off the phone. Right. I have a very urgent call. Okay, just one Thanks. question, ma'am. How much does the bill go go up by, the wage bill, the superannuation wage bill? Uh, not too much. Wage bill will mean superannuation will be only about 23 crores per month, okay. which is really nothing much. All right. Okay. Ma'am, uh, pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for finding time for us uh, in what must have been an extremely busy day for the SBI chairman. Uh, well, uh, we, have, we were speaking with Mr. Sharad Sharma as well, uh, the uh, just retired uh, head of uh, State Bank of Mysore. Uh, uh, Mr. Sharma, what's your sense uh, of the various uh, stakeholders whose permission uh, that uh, the uh, banks will seek? Which will be the most difficult to get? Will unions be an issue? Uh, unions, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, you, you are aware that uh, the, the unions are aligned to the AIBA here. Mm. So at this point of time, there is a little bit of dissonance on that. Mm. But I think uh, they will come around because if you look at the overall be uh, benefits which, the em which accrues to the employees, uh, uh, that is, uh, of course, there is there that some of the uh, functionaries and people who are on the board as uh, employee directors and officer directors, those positions will go away. Okay. So to that extent, there will be some element of disempowerment feeling which is there. But across the board, among the staff, actually everything is aligned, salary, mm. because it's, everything is the same. The mm. promotion policies are also aligned. So, okay. so it will not disturb to that extent at all. All right. Okay, Mr. Sharma, we will leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining us uh, uh, with uh, your take on how this merger will go ahead. Uh, looks like calendar 2016 itself, we should be seeing a much, much larger SBI. Yeah, because it was very clear that she wants to finish the process as soon as possible. One quarter is obviously <laughs> too short a timeline, sure. but uh, yes, soon we will see a very large SBI. That was the big CNBC TV18 exclusive interview with the chairman of SBI.